If you're a supplier working in Retail Link, and you know you are, every week pulling those reports for your Walmart buyer, you know how overwhelming that information can seem. Well, you know what? Your life is about to get a whole lot simpler because our next guest is Rob Colley with Power Pivot Pro. Great to have you here, Rob. It's great to be here. Thank you, Jared. I'm interested in this new add-in for Excel. What exactly is Power Pivot? Well, imagine if the most amazing thing that's ever been built for dealing with data was already on your desktop and you just didn't know about it. Uh, that's actually the case right now. Like this thing called Power Pivot and its close cousin Power Query are built into all the more recent versions of Excel, like 2016 in particular, but also even 2013. They're just sitting there waiting to be activated, believe it or not. You probably already have them. Uh, and they're going to turn your world upside down in a good way in terms of especially dealing with things like, like retail link, like this really heavily export-oriented um, you know, way of analyzing data. So now we have the attention of everyone watching, wanting to know <laughs> how is this going to make my life easier. What exactly does Power Pivot do? It does a lot of things. It's really hard to, to compress them all into a short time frame sure. like this. But um, we sort of start with a, an easy example, which is that every time you export some data uh, from Retail Link or really any other system, um, you sort of end up defaulting to that's a one-off workbook. Mm -hmm. uh, all the effort that goes into that workbook, you know, the calculations, even the formatting, uh, is generally like it's easier to throw it away than it is to keep it. Uh, and Power Pivot and Power Query allow you to start to accumulate um, a bunch of exports over time in a single workbook. And it's very seamlessly one click, you know, just keep like, oh, I got the latest data. What, what's the latest data? Let's incorporate that latest data into our existing sort of suite of, of analysis uh, very easily, like again, one click, rather than, um, rather than starting from scratch. So this, this inverts sort of the traditional uh, ratio. Like typically, you, um, you spend most of your time with grunt work, mm -hmm. and you get a little thin crust of thinking that goes on top of that, like actual valuable thinking. Right. But imagine flipping that and having there be very little you know, grunt work and a lot of time and opportunity for really fast and powerful, sophisticated um, analysis, actual good business needle moving thinking um, you know, without you know, being ground down. And also without having to learn something completely brand new, because this is still Excel. So for suppliers who are using Excel for all their reports pulling out of Retail Link, are there things that they'll be able to do with Power Pivot that they can't do today just with Excel? Uh, absolutely. So first of all, like if you're, if you're starting to accumulate lots of data, if the workbook can handle it, which it can in Power Pivot, you can start to do things like trending, uh, you know, year over year comparison. Imagine having like multiple years worth of data in a single workbook that you can readily compare year over year or you know like seasonality and things like that. So trending opens up in a big way. But also cross-referencing and splicing. So if you have other sources of data like point of sale data from other retailers or syndicated data from things like Nielsen and IRI, you can believe it or not, you can incorporate those into a single unified analysis and model and sort of cross-reference and spot differences and opportunities um, between different you know sales channels and distribution channels and things like that. It sounds like a fantastic tool and absolutely anything that's going to help one of our suppliers be able to pull those retail link reports to support Walmart better is going to be a huge, huge benefit. So, Rob, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, and please come back again. Oh, I will. Thank you very much, Jared. <laughs>